Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the value of x given that square root of x plus square root of 7 plus x equals 7. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, we have given an equation square root of x plus square root of 7 plus x equals to 7. There's a lot of ways to answer this kind of question. But in this video, we will do different. So, square root of x plus square root of 7 plus x equals to 7. What we will do here is to let square root of x be equal to a and square root of 7 plus x must be equal to b. So we have a plus b equals to 7. Now, we know that a is square root of x and b equals square root of 7 plus x. It follows. If we square on both sides, we get that a squared must be equal to x and b squared must be equal to 7 plus x. Now, why we do that? Because if we subtract a squared to b squared, this will give us b squared minus a squared equals 7 plus x minus x. And if we simplify this, the right-hand side is just 7. And now, we have a square number minus another square number. So we can factor this using difference of two squares. If we have x squared minus y squared, this can be factored as x plus y multiplied by x minus y. Therefore, b squared minus a squared can be factored as b plus a multiplied by b minus a. Now, we know the value of b plus a. This is just the same thing as a plus b. This is equivalent to 7. So we can replace this expression with 7. And now, to get the value of b minus a, what we're going to do here is divide both sides by 7. Now, 7 divided by 7 will give us 1. And now, at this point, we convert square root of x plus square root of 7 plus x equals to 7 into two linear equations consisting of a and b. And I think this is easy to handle rather than with an equation having a radical sign. So, take note that our goal is to solve for the value of x. And x can be solved if we get the value of a because a must be equal to square root of x. So what we're going to do here is to cancel out or to eliminate the variable b. Therefore, we need to subtract the second equation to the first equation. And if we do that, we can now cancel out this variable b. So we have a minus negative a will give us 2a. And on the right-hand side, we have 7 minus a. Let's simplify. 7 minus 1 will give us 6. Divide both sides by 2 will give us a must be equal to 3. So we get that a must be equal to 3. And also take note that this a is equivalent to square root of x. Now, we want the value of this x, so what we're going to do here is to square on both sides. Therefore, x must be equal to 3 squared, and 3 squared must be equal to 9. Therefore, our answer to this equation must be 9. But before we end this video, we need to double check our answer. So what we're going to do here is to replace all x with 9. And let's see if the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal. Now, square root of 9 is definitely 3. And 7 plus 9 will give us 16. And square root of 16 is equal to 4. So 3 plus 4 must be equal to 7. Therefore, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are balanced. It follows that the answer to this equation must be equal to 9. And as always, we are done.